Hey, hello everyone, and back again. Here's another video I made, and I had this on my phone. I, I did this project last week, and I just thought I'd just post it up for you guys. Maybe some of you guys are interested, or you guys came across something like this that you always want to learn, and you can do it yourself. But um, just research it first, and make sure that you're comfortable of knowing the, of the replacement. I'm gonna be doing a um, 1988 Chevy Silverado key ignition replacement. Yeah, so hopefully I can help someone out there. And there's a lot of YouTube videos already out there, and you can just go ahead and just watch them too, and they'll help you and research it. So that's what I did. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and stick around, and well, let's get this started. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover from here. I didn't have time to make videos and especially when I'm, I need uh, both hands. And so I just made pictures. So hopefully this will help. All right, here's a steering wheel and we're gonna be taking the steering wheel off. Right here is the little, the horn. You just press the, the two tabs on the side and it'll pull off. And here is the horn. Assembly the little connector with the wire that connects to it. You just pull that off, and that's what it looks like from there. And here, there's a little um, like a little washer that you gotta use the pitch pliers, and you pull it. And from here, you gotta be pulling that bolt off in the middle. I use my ratchet, my cordless ratchet, so. It works okay. Uh, this tool I got from home, um, Harbor and Freight, 15 bucks, so it wasn't bad. This tool helped me out a lot. So there's different tools out there that will help you, and this is how you install it. You just have to find the right bolt with the right threads on there that will fit, and you just put it on there. And here's a video. So. Hopefully it'll work okay and I hear I used a ratchet to pull it out. And here's the steering wheel that came off. That's what it looks like and I just need to pull the horn connector right there. I'm holding it with one hand and that's what I needed to pull the connector out. Alright, here's the, the steering wheel is off and this is the black cover. You just pull it off and I have to unscrew the little um, the, the emergency switch lights and just pull that black cover off and, and that's, that's that one there, that little metal <coughs> plastic. You just take that off too and I had to use this one again and I got this from Harbor of Fright but it works pretty good. I need a steel steering wheel puller. so. I just don't want a chance it, so I just purchased that one too. On this one here, you have to find the, the right attachment here that screws onto here. So it's holding it. And then this one here, you got to use a wrench. Put this little bolt on here. And this one here, there's a spring tension here. So it's going to have to push that down. But this one here, you have to turn here. And while you're turning it, you can see it. Let's spring down there. It's going in. Right there. Right there. That's what I need to take out. It's just like a little ring that holds this whole plate. We're right, gonna do the voiceover from here again. There's that little rain we finally got out of there. Got to use some needle nose pliers and a flathead. And here's those little notches inside it when you're pulling it. Make sure it goes in one way. And right here's that little plastic cover again. Another one. And here's that little spring right there. That's the one you got to pull down. And there's notches on the steering wheel there, so you got to pay attention. It goes in one way. And there's one screw that you gotta take out there. Second screw you gotta take out. Third screw you gotta take out. 
And here's the fourth one. And here's the little um, plastic connector you got to pull out. It's from the horn connector. And that's a screw. Gun. Okay, once you get the, the bolt out from here, it's a little Allen, it's an Allen screw. Now you can go ahead and slide out your key switch, your little switch. Goes. There we go, it can slide out. There you go, and then, then there's this little notch here, it just goes right in one way. So that's an old one, that's a bad, that broke. So I'm gonna put this one here. And here's the new, the new switch. So he has that groove there, same style. This one already has the key to it. It's brand new. And then this one you just slide straight in. Straight in, just like that. And then the, the notch here will match up to here. That little notch group. it is brand new switch brand new key so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this screw back in here top now I'm gonna reassemble everything back that was okay I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and I'll get back with you okay here it is kind of got dark on me a little bit it's all dark now so I got it done. There's a new, everything's back together. And then, over here, ah, right there is a new switch. New key switch. Pretty new. So, hopefully, you guys liked the video and I'll go ahead and post up more stuff whenever. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, it looks kind of hard and everything, but you just have to remember where everything goes and the parts that need to go here and there, and you gotta be careful. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's just a key replacement. Okay, we're gonna try it out. Now, what I did, uh, put the new key in. There's a new key. Right there's a new key and slide into ignition. I'm trying to let you guys see at the same time. So, okay. Now we're gonna try it on. See, turn. Yep, there it is. It's good to go. Now it's a service service engine soon. Check, check gauges. Cool, I got more projects to do. <laughs> but it is a replacement of a key. Replacement of the key, key switch. Replacement, cylinder I guess. All right, YouTube, hope you guys enjoyed the video and catch you guys again later. All right, enjoy your day. Peace out.